friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am making um, rosettes and I'm using the Crate Paper. Um, it's the old, it's last year's Valentine's Day collection. So this year's is Main Squeeze. Two years ago is Hello Love. And I can't remember the name of last year's. But I think that's most of the paper I'm using. I actually might be using one. This paper here, I think it might be uh, Hello Love paper. Anyway, so I am cutting the papers, each pattern, two of them at 12 by one and a quarter. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to um, score it, my scoreboard, take my scoreboard and score it at uh, every half inch. Kind of tedious, but it's okay. It's worth it in the end. And then um, I'm just going to fold them like a fan, basically. Um, so if you've got two of the same patterns, which you should because you need two of them, start with folding the first one back and then the second one forward, if that makes sense. You can watch tutorial videos online. Um, mine's no tutorial, just a process video. But um, just so they fold in together nicely. And if you don't do that, it's not a big deal. You can still make it work. But just fold it back and forth. Actually, the, the second and third papers that I was folding, I think, they are the same paper. I just use, like, they just, they're double-sided paper, so I use just different sides. I'm going to hot glue them together. For me, hot glue works best because it dries fast, and that's what you need, or else you'll be sitting there forever. And obviously, it's really strong, so that helps too. There we go. I just finished making a video for um, shaker pockets, like sequin pockets. <laughs> so you can see my sequins everywhere. I apologize for that. It's not totally a clean desk, but you know, that's all part of the crafting and the fun of it. All right, so I'm just attaching them all together so they make a circle. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. It's actually a lot easier than it looks. It might take you a couple times to do it to get the hang of it as far as the next step goes. Um, but if you do it a couple times, it gets pretty easy. Sorry, my cat has a huge tail, so she's wagging it in front of the camera. I didn't realize. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to take my circle punch and punch out some circles so that I can just tape everything or glue everything together. And unfortunately, my glue gun does not reach far enough, so that's kind of inconvenient, but that's all right. So I'm going to put one circle like this, you'll see. One circle on the back like that and hold it down for a few seconds. Put something heavy on it. It's kind of coming apart, but I save it. And then the other circle, circle on top. So it's all held together nicely. I'd gotten hot glue on my nail if you saw me picking at that. And then the same thing, bunch it all together so it's pretty even. And then it wasn't completely sticking, so I did add a little bit more glue just so it all stays together nicely. And I'm just making three for this video. And they actually turned out pretty simple and straightforward. Um, I got out all my stickers and my chipboard. I have stuff from different cray paper Valentine's Day collections. So I found this circular one and I thought that would look really cute and it's kind of simple, perfect size. So I start with that. I do end up adding more, but I do start with that. I have the ephemera pack from the Main Squeeze collection and the sticker, uh, sticker pack and the chipboard. So it gives me lots to work with. I found that circular piece. I find those just super simple and easy to put, to 
put on and it fills up the whole space and it looks complete. But I'm going to put a few other embellishments and stuff on these as well. And then for the last one, I find a square, well, rectangle embellishment from the sticker sheet from the Hello Love collection. And then I add a chipboard heart on it as well to give it a little more dimension, even though there's lots from the rosette itself, but I think that looks nice. And then I thought, why not add a little bit more to the top one as well? and make them all kind of go together nicely. So I have those puffy hearts from last year's uh, crepe paper uh, Valentine's Day collection. Oh, I keep wanting to say Halloween collection. I hope I haven't said that <laughs> in this video. Oh. It's December right now when I'm doing this, so I'm still in like Christmas mode, but for some reason I'm saying Halloween. All right, so here they are. You can still kind of see the glue. It hasn't cleared up yet, but... I think they turned out really cute. They were really easy and I hope you're feeling inspired and have a great day. Bye.